Hello, I'm Dr. Latrice Snodgrass. I'm the Executive Director for Beacon Charitable Pharmacy. So Beacon Charitable Pharmacy is just like your Walgreen or your CVS, only we serve people who don't have insurance or who have very little insurance. And what I mean by that is people who may have a very high deductible so they can't access their insurance. We provide medications the same as you would find in your Walgreens or your CVS to folks that don't have insurance. So we provide it at a minimal cost, $2 for one medication, $4 for two medications, and um, $5 for three or more if you do not have insurance. We're boarded by the Ohio Board of Pharmacy. It's so funny, folks will ask me, well, are the medications expired? Nope, no expired medications, exactly what you would find in a retail pharmacy. It's important to me because I was once the patients that we serve. It's very important to me that we create equity in the space of healthcare. Um, healthcare has become very transactional, and it's important to me that it becomes transformational. And Beacon makes healthcare transformational. Because when you come to Beacon, not only do we provide you with your pharmaceutical medication, your education, your vaccination, but we also look at that holistic approach. If you need food, we have relationships with the food bank. I and mean, if you need transportation, we have relationships with SARTA. So we look at it from a holistic approach and how can we help you? Because if you're here and you need this help, odds are you need something else as well. So we wanna connect you. This brought me to tears and this was a learning lesson for me. There is something called a continual glucose monitor and a brand name for that is a Libre. You may have seen these commercials and it's a device that you can put on and it'll check your blood sugar level. And Will, my pharmacist, Will Hubert, he was explaining to me that we have patients on this device and we had a grant for it. It's very costly. So Davies Drugs are generous to us and they provide us with this at their cost, which is $70 for one device. And a patient needs it twice a month. Most insurance companies don't even cover it. And we're a charitable pharmacy, right? But we were able to write a grant. And so the grant funding has ended and Will kept saying, you know, Latrice, we have patients on this, what are we gonna do? And I said, well, man, it's a luxury. Like we, we can't afford to keep spending, you know, $140 every month on this device. Well, we did something called a mission moment. And I do mission moments where I want to record a patient to share with my board because I wanna help the board understand the impact we have. So Will did a mission moment on a patient but he's one of our patients that received the Libre. It brought me to tears. He explained how having this Libre enabled his wife to be able to work midnights because his blood sugar level would go so high he would pass out. But the Libre notifies him when his blood sugar level is high so then he can get himself together. It's life changing, right? So. These are the stories of the impact that we're making in folks' lives. So needless to say, I want to find the money to keep this patient on his Libre. You know, we have another story of a lady who had lost her job, and for one year she was trying to build her own business. So she received our services for a year. Now she has a thriving business where she's an insurance broker. Like, we truly make a difference. We, we make a life-altering difference in the lives of those that have entrusted their care to us. Let me just tell you about only, two, only 2023, we served about 2,300 families. Um, over $4 million of the, is the annual wholesale price of medications that we've put into the community. So our impact is, it's incredible. We are 98% grant funded. So any foundation that you can think of within Stark County, has supported Beacon. So through the generosity of our, of our foundations, providing us with grant dollars, um, through the generosity of the Ohio Drug Repository, which is how we receive our donated medications, um, it's a mechanism that allows pharmacies, um, nursing homes, hospitals to donate medications that then come to us that we can put into the hands of our community members. And then also April of last year, a house bill passed that now allows community members to be able to donate medications.
You guys have been instrumental to us. We're in discussions now about things for the future and um, the team there has just been phenomenal. When I came into this position, you know, Chris reached out to me and just wrapped his arms around me. How can I help? What can we do? And just a great partner. You're helping get the awareness out there because a lot of people don't know we exist. So this right here is just huge because we definitely need to raise our profile so that we can get medications in the hands of more people. Yeah, so thank you.